to another edition of the Ghost Layers Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan, here from Tokyo, Japan. As Japan struggles to find a way to move away from nuclear power, one alternative energy source does appear to be moving forward. Uh, we are talking about solar power. Now, due to a recent government-approved incentive program, which will require um, uh, energy companies to buy a certain percentage of alternative energy clean or clean energy sources um, at a higher than market cost, several companies have now now announced plans to build solar power plants to generate solar power and then sell them at the higher than market value uh, according to the incentive program. Uh, the three companies who are currently uh, announced plans to build these solar plants would be uh, Toshiba, SoftBank, and Crow Sira. Let's look at some a little bit of details I found on Toshiba first. Uh, they've announced they've invested, go ahead and invested 30 billion yen, or that roughly uh, translates into 379 billion US dollars. Now the location of this solar plant is quite um, interesting. Toshiba will plan to build this plant in Minami Soma. That's in Fukushima Prefecture. Now we all know uh, what's going on in Fukushima Prefecture with the massive meltdowns of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. So it's quite interesting, interesting that, um, that a completely clean free energy source is going to be built there. Um, they're, bu they're starting the building this year in 2012. Um, they plan to have the operation up and running uh, by 2000 and we 14 I believe 13 14. Um, though this plant will be quite large and they're predicting it should be able to produce um, 100 megawatts of power possibly more. Now, the interesting company who's getting involved in this is SoftBank. Now, SoftBank is a telecommunications company. Um, they're quite famous in Japan. They offer primarily cell phone service and internet service. They're the company that originally brought the iPhone here to the island. They've set up a sub-company called SB Energy to go ahead with their plans to build a solar power plant. Um, the location of this plant, they announced, will be in Tomokomai, uh, Hokkaido. Um, minimum power will be um, 200,000 kilowatts. Maximum production of 340,000 kilowatts of power. They also have plans to build these solar power plants in Guma, Kyoto, and with those plants being quite smaller, uh, of having a minimum uh, production of 2,400 kilowatts and a maximum production of 5,600 kilowatts. So very interesting that, that um, SoftBank is uh, going for this new type of technology. Um, the third company, Crow Sira, uh, a company that I don't know much about here, um, they seem to be uh, partnering, with, partnering with two other companies, IHI Heavy Industries Corporation and Mizuho Corporate Bank um, to uh, build a solar power plant in Kagoshima. Okay? So it appears that the, there's plenty of companies in Japan who are very excited to get in on this incentive program to make this um, what would appear to be easy money for them um, with technology that is readily available and much cheaper to build than um, nuclear power. Um, the energy source is pretty much never going to end. There's no risk of any damage to the environment. Um, local communities will have absolutely no worry whatsoever from any type of um, problems 
uh, on the local environment or health of the people from a solar power plant. And like I said, these companies are looking to cash in on what looks to be easy money for them. Now, the big, the big question here is how much energy can this replace? Um, now, of course, solar power by itself is not going to be enough to um, completely replace nuclear power here in Japan. And it's going to take uh, some other alternative energy sources. Um, now, there has been talks uh, recently to go ahead with thermal power on a localized level where communities um, where private people produce the thermal energy and they sell it um, off to the local power grid. There's some plans to do that now, but um, those plans are still in the workings right now and really haven't been set forth to start. But um, as soon as I get some solid information on that thermal um, energy plan, we could possibly do a video on that and explore all the information and different things on that one, okay? But so far, I need more information about it um, to really do a full report on that. Um, but I thought it was important uh, to really bring up that there is efforts being made to um, create a new energy source here in Japan that's not nuclear to try to move away from it. And you see here the government has this incentive program. They're willing to um, um, force these um, energy operators, the people who actually sell or provide uh, the energy to the people and they get most of the profit off of it uh, through an incentive program. Now what I find in interesting here is that the all the current um, electricity um, operators are not involved in this. They're not developing it themselves. They're not putting their own money into it, which I find to be quite interesting. Now, of course, TEPCO really can't invest in um, any type of alternative energy source because all of their money, any money they get, should be going into trying to um, handle the Fukushima problem, um, massive compensation that they're, they're needing to pay out, and all those things. So they have their hands full. And plus decommissioning um, nuclear power plants in the future, which should be something that people in Japan have clearly been pushing for really hard with all these anti-nuclear protests and all these uh, public hearings that come out where 70% of the people want no nuclear power by 2030. So TEPCO can't get involved in that. Kyushu Electric, they have their hands full at the moment with um, flooding that's went on down there, natural disasters went on down there, so they have to try to maintain the, even the grid down there to get people any electricity. Um, KEPCO, which is Kansai Electric, don't confuse that with Tokyo Electric because their names are very similar. They have their hands full with their own political battles with their own shareholders right now, with uh, Osaka being the uh, prime shareholder. So they're having their own little battles with that. So it appears that there are having to be other in other companies step up to create this new infrastructure. So it's a lot of interesting things happening here with the um, energy policy in, in Japan. Um, so the future looks to have some type of hope here. Uh, something is moving. The, the gears are moving here to try to build an infrastructure to move us away from nuclear power. Um, so. As always, everyone, I really appreciate um, each and every person who watches these videos. Each and every person that leaves a comment, gets a discussion going. You post on other forms of the social networks. I deeply appreciate that. Uh, current subscribers, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. And uh, new subscribers, hey, go ahead and sign up. It's one click. And it's one click right there. It says subscribe button. Click that. My videos upload, they'll show up in your feed there. All right. So I hope you choose to subscribe and um, join in the discussion here. Join into this, um, what we're trying to do. So, so until next time, this is me, Ryan. You're from Tokyo, Japan. Check it out.